Hi everyone, this is Downloads from the Divine. I am here to do the Twin Flame daily reading for today for March 26th of 2019. I hope everyone's week has started off well. Um, I was unable to do the daily reading for, for yesterday. Um, I'm actually trying to find a new place and I found a new place yesterday. I'm so excited. I found a place. And so, um, it's just, it's nothing wrong with, um, it's nothing terribly wrong with the place that I'm at, but it's, it's like when you need, um, you know, a change of energy, a change of environment as well and energy. And so that's, that's what I was doing yesterday. And I looked out and, and the divine is absolutely amazing, but I was able to just like find a place and it was actually the last place <laughs> I found and, um, happened upon the place. It wasn't even on my list of places and just came upon the place. So it was, it was absolutely beautiful. But yeah, um, the hope is um, with that new space um, that I'll be able to do some more things in terms of with readings and things and be able to even offer different types of readings as well um, for folks. And and um, so that's the hope. I'll have um, some some more creative space to be able to do that in, in, in the new place. All right. So yes, let's get going. I am always sending y'all lots of love and light. I thank you so much for your support of the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your likes and the shares. Thank you for the beautiful messages that you sent to me. Thank you for checking on me. Y'all check on me when I don't post a, a daily reading and um, th thank you for that. And um, yes, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is a twin flame focus channel. These readings are for the energies of both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Um, this is a general reading. It's impossible for the messages in these readings to resonate with everyone. Um, I always pray and hope they resonate with as many folks as possible. I am on Instagram. Um, I do spreads over there and it's been a minute since it's been a minute, um, since I've done a spread over there and I know that, and I'm really working to be able to get into a place to be able to do more spreads and work over there on Instagram. Um, but there are spreads over there and there may be messages over there that resonate with you. And I do also offer personal services, um, such as personal readings and I'm on Insta, I'm also on instant go. So, um, those are also additional services that are available, but yeah, let's go ahead and get going. Um, I'm using today, this is the gilded tarot deck that's by Chiro Marchetti and we'll be clarifying with the gilded, um, Reverie Lenormand deck that's also by Chiro Marchetti. And then we'll be pulling a romance angel oracle card at the end. Let's go. Okay, one more time. All right, feels good. Let's go ahead and do this. So I will pull one card. If more than one card comes out, I'll take it. As long as it's not the entire deck. I always pull the cards from the bottom and the top of the deck. That's just part of that overall energy. And then I'll look again at the bottom and the top of the deck. All right, angels and spirit messages. Do you have for the Twin Flame Collective for today for... May 25th of 26th of 2019. All right. Ooh, we've got a Knight of Swords. Okay. Ooh, that's the fastest night in the deck. Very fast. Okay. Top of the deck, we've got Kay the Hanging Man. Okay, and the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, we've got somebody that's having a complete wake-up call here. And rushing in with the knight, sending a knight in.
This is someone that's completely changing their perspective on what is the Ten of Pentacles to them. Whether they even wanted the Ten of Pentacles. Could they, it's like whether they could have attained it. Because the hangman, that's the only major kind of that's here on the table. And the hang, hanging man here, um, that's, that's when you take a moment, you take a pause, you look at something completely from a different perspective. And by doing that, then you end up picking up and seeing things that you didn't see before. Specifically, this is related to the Ten of Pentacles. This is being able to get to a place. It's being able to start with one pinnacle and work your way all the way up to getting to the Ten of Pentacles and having that very set, stable foundation that could withstand time. And there's a feeling here that I feel like there's, I feel like we've got, um, there's a feeling this definitely, this could be some divine masculine here. Okay. Yeah, it is a divine masculine. That is so funny. So I, I just, I lifted up the deck and the card that's even at the bottom of the deck dropped and there's a king of swords. Okay. So there's a king of swords sitting this night out. So this, this is divine masculine here. Um, um, so I am guided even after I pull the, the, we look at the bottom and the top of the deck, I'm going to look again at the bottom of the deck and show you the king of swords. That's who's sending this night out. It's a king of swords. So it's a divine masculine. That's a king of swords because what's happened is with this divine masculine is that, um, I feel like this divine masculine really at a point really didn't know whether like, like this 10 of Pentacles is attainable, whether they could have that. I feel like even this divine masculine had a different idea of how they would go about getting this or being able to have this with someone. And now they're completely changing their perspective on that. I even feel we've got a divine masculine here that didn't feel like they actually can get to a place or be able to have stability in their life. Okay. They, they've just been kind of all over the place. Um, and no types of insta not no types of stability, just a lot of instability. I feel, I feel like they see the divine feminine. They see that they can have this, this 10 of pentacles with the divine feminine. And it's like completely seeing this whole thing from a different perspective. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we've got, this is the two of wands. So this is about making a decision here. Specifically, this is a divine masculine that's making the decision to send this knight. This is sending a knight of swords. Um, this is sending communication, but this knight is also holding an ace of swords. That's truth. That's clarity. That's honesty. That's communication. And but we got a night, we got a king behind this night. Okay. That's sending this night out very quick, very fast. This is like Adam, this would be a night. This is the night that catches you off guard, like out of nowhere. Um, but it's like making a decision to do that because I feel like that's where we have, where that's why this divine masculine, I feel like the divine has put this divine masculine also in this place of hanging man and, and looking at things from a different perspective. Um, because we had a divine masculine that was hung up here also in terms of the two of wands and like trying to figure out which way to go. You can see the figure standing there. Twos are always about, um, uh, decision points, forks in the road. Okay. And decision points. That's what twos represent. And this is very much so you can see the figure standing there, um, and trying to decide like which path to go down. Okay. Um, and this is with the wands and this is all with movement. This is like which way to move forward, which path to go. And it's going down one of those paths. Cause one of those paths, that's like one wand. That's an ace of wands. that's being able to have a new start, a passion, new beginning and moving forward to do that. But there's, there's a feeling this divine masculine, this hanging man has helped this divine masculine getting into this place of looking at things from a different perspective has helped helped him or her. And when, you know, when I talk about like divine masculine, divine feminine, you could be male or female in a divine masculine and a divine feminine energy. Okay. Um, and then when a King comes out in one of these general readings, that's a divine masculine, since this is a general reading. And then when a queen comes out, that's divine feminine. 
Um, but we've got, a, like I said, a king of swords that's behind this knight. So there's the two of wands about making that decision. Um, it's sending this knight to this divine feminine. And then on the other side of the deck, we've got, La, yeah, look at that. This is the four of cups here. So before I show the four of cups, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Cause so I had the card, the deck like this, and this card dropped this two of wands dropped and, and this king of swords is behind it. Okay. So this is a, this is a divine uh, masculine here. It's this king of swords sending this knight out. Okay. Making a decision to do that. Okay. Let me talk about the four of cups. This is a, this is um, a different depiction of the four of cups, but I feel like this is representative of a shift with this divine masculine because the divine masculine was at a place. So the usual depiction of like the four of cups is where you have this figure sitting underneath this tree and looking at three cups, that's those three cups right there. And staring at those three cups, you could obviously has an expression on their face that they're not happy with it. Okay. They're sitting there, they're discontent because it's discontentment. It's being discontent, bored, unhappy, whatever you want to call it with those three cups. But they're, the figure is focused on those three cups and not looking at or seeing um, the cup that the divine is offering them or not wanting to see it, not feeling like they deserve it not wanting it, ignoring it, whatever you want to call it. But the figure is not taking the cup um, that the divine is offering them. That's the ace of cups. That's being able to have a new emotional beginning in love. And instead of just focused, this figure is just focused on these three cups that are, um, you know, they're unhappy with like those three cups are representative of things, everything from like third party situations that they're unhappy with karmic, you know, they're karmic. All, you know, all of that, the three cups represent, but they're focused on that. What happens is, is that folks that get, stay in that place of the four of cups and just discontent and don't do anything about it and don't take the cup that the divine is offering them. They are, the, the, that's representative. That card is, is clearly showing that the divine is offering you an ace of cups and you don't get aces all the time. Um, and being able to have a new start, a new start in love, a new emotional beginning in love. Um, but what happens is, is if you don't, then it just moves right into the five of cups. And then now those three cups that you were focused on and so unhappy about, they're just toppled over now because they're karmic. And now you're focused on that and not seeing the two cups behind you. That's those two of cups and being able to move forward into union. You have to be able to move past those three cups that are spilled over, um, and not focus on that and turn around and see, you know, the beautiful opportunities that you have behind you. This is different. The reason why I was talking about the, you know, gave the whole background around that is that this is different because, um, you can see the three cups standing here. This figure was looking at these three cups, but this figure and notice how large that cup is. Like that's the, that, that that's the hand of the divine and notice how large, um, this cup is right here compared to these three cups. And that figure is just like, bring it on. You can see the figure's got his, got his like tilted, got his, got his head tilted back and the divine is tip, tipping that cup towards the figure. Like this figure's like, yes, bring the cup on. I'm ready for it. So this is showing that this divine masculine has really shifted from a place of like being focused on stuff that they were discontent with in their life. And as a result of them being focused on those things, they were not seeing, not wanting, not feeling like they deserve new, you know, a new start in love, but they were just focused on those things. But this has been, this is, this is, re this is representative of a shift happening here with this divine masculine in terms of now fully wanting to take and take in the cup that the divine is offering them. Okay. I feel like this, this is representative of being able to have a new emotional beginning in love and start with the divine feminine here. And this figure is all about it. And it's a beautiful, large ace of cups here. Okay. It's making a decision to do that. The hanging man, like I said, held. And we've got this, um, knight of swords, uh, this king of swords is sending out this knight of swords to this divine feminine. Okay. 
because this is what it's, it, it's going to take this knight of swords and I'll talk about why we have a, we have a divine masculine that's in a king of swords. So king of swords is a uh, very logical object and they look at things logically and objectively. This king of swords also, um, I'm going to go ahead. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and pull cause this king of swords is there at the bottom of the deck too. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the king of swords. So the king of swords here, um, I feel like this, we got divine masculine in a king of swords because th they've had to cut out stuff. They had to cut out those three cups basically is what I feel like. Now they're taking this, they're wanting and fully wanting to take the cup that the divine is offering them, that ace of cups, that new start with the divine feminine. And I feel like they got the divine masculine that had to get into this king of swords right here um, to be able to do that, to cut out. Cause when you, this King of Swords cuts out emotion, um, doesn't, doesn't operate with emotion and is able to, as a result of that, to be able to cut out things that aren't serving them. And so I feel like we got divine masculine that that's what they had to do and cut out those three cups, basically that focus on those three cups, whatever that was going on with those three cups, karmic stuff, third party, whatever it was, um, cut it out. And now what's happening is, is that they're fully focused on wanting, feeling like they also deserve it. Cause that's the other thing with the four of cups is feeling like you also even deserve that ace of cups that the divine is offering you. But this divine masculine has been able to get to a place to do that. Then also being able to look at things logically and objectively, I feel like that's fed into also this hanging man and being able to see things also from a different perspective. But this king of uh, swords is also an effective communicator as well. Okay. Um, it is pretty cool that we do have because the concern with the king of swords, just like the queen of swords, is that they cut out emotion. And so b still having where we got this cups card here with the four of cups and, and this depiction of this figure that's fully wanting to take this ace of cups now. Okay. Um, but this king is also holding an ace of swords there. You can see one sword. That's an ace of swords. This king is sending out this knight of swords to this divine feminine. Okay. This knight is also holding, holding one sword, um, bringing that truth, that clarity, that honesty. The reason why we have the ace of swords here, the reason why this has to, this, I feel like this divine masculine even feeling, feeling like they, you know, um, sending this night out with this night of swords out. This is the fastest night in the deck. Um, but it's because with the ace of swords, the ace of swords comes after the 10 of swords, 10 of swords are very difficult endings. Okay. And I feel like this, that's also what's happened here with this divine, um, masculine is knowing that you know, after you have very difficult endings, you have to come in, you know, right after um, a tens, like a ten of swords is also a one. Okay. It's the absolute ending, but it's also a one and it's the ace of swords. So it's bringing this knight coming in and bringing in communication, bringing in that truth, that clarity and that honesty. There's also a feeling that we've got a divine masculine that's mirroring also sending this knight of swords to a queen of swords. So we got divine feminine that are also in a queen of swords type of energy where this divine feminine had to also set some boundaries due to the difficulty. And this divine masculine knows that that's what this queen, that's what this divine feminine is expecting is an ace of swords is truth, clarity, and honesty. And that this queen is not going to accept the basically the divine feminine as that queen of swords is not going to accept anything less than that. We got that. I talked about the hanging man, about looking at things from a completely different perspective here. Um, and it's specifically related to this 10 of pentacles and tens are also ones, you know, like I said, tens, um, tens are also ones. Um, so this 10 of pentacles, like I was talking about earlier is that this is also an ace of pentacles, the 10, this is an absolute, this is the absolute top ending of pentacles. Um, but to get to this place, you have to start off with an ace. Okay. So t this 10 of pentacles is one plus zero is also a one. It's an ace of pentacles. You have to start off with the ace of pentacles and be able to be, be able to have a new start, a new grounded, stable, um, committed start. Okay. To be and and work, 
Uh, it's like a new perspective in terms of this divine masculine knowing and realizing that they can be able to work with this divine feminine to be able to get to this place in his or her life. Because there's a feeling that this divine masculine really didn't think that this was even possible. This Ten of Pentacles was. Um, feel like they had hopes to be able to get it at, at, at different points in their life to be able to attain it in different ways. Um, and, then, and the Pentacles is related to the material and the physical realm is stability. It's that, like I said, it's that set stability, set wealth. And wealth, not just, you know, wealth is... Yes, it could. Yes, it could be financial stability and, 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 you know, um, monetary and all of those things, but just health, physical well-being, your home. I feel like this divine masculine is now like realizing that, hey, I could actually be able to build this and have this with this divine feminine. And, and whatever way they were going about it in the past or whoever they were with or whatever that was going on in the past doing those karmic, those karmic cycles. It's a realization that, you know, that wasn't the way to go about it. Um, those and, you know, taking the lessons learned from that. But it's also a realization that they can they could be able to build this and have this with this divine feminine. OK. All right. There is also a sense that this divine masculine was just even a type of like what I'm hearing is a type of like rebellious type of spirit in terms of just. Just even did it just even think that they could even get here or even want. But now they're at a point in their life, I feel like they're really wanting to be able to have some stability in their life. They've just been all over the place um, and wanting to be able to have some stability also in their life and realizing that they have. A partner they have a twin that they could be able to build and have this with and you could be at any age it doesn't matter you can be young or old and and reach this place we have folks that are we have uh, folks that are old in what you call years but very young and very have a very young soul okay um and spirit um and have been just, I feel like this, even this, this divine masculine just kind of just drifted around a lot. Okay. All right. Let's start with this. Let's start with this Knight of Swords. We have to clarify this Knight of Swords first. Angels and Spirit, can you please clarify this Knight of Swords? <laughs> yeah, this is taking a chance. So we've got this, like I said, this divine masculine as this king of swords sending out this knight to this divine feminine. They're taking a chance. It's also a realization. I'm seeing the divine, I'm seeing the queen of swords. I'm actually seeing how the queen of swords looks in this deck. Um, because I, I can see the queen and, and see because they know that this divine feminine is in a queen of swords type of energy and has set some boundaries and it is. And you can see even, it's, you know, it's beautiful that we've got the gleaming sword right there, even gleaming, um, shining right there. It's because this divine masculine knows that's what this divine feminine expects. It is taking a chance. This divine masculine is feeling like they're taking a chance or a leap of faith to do this, to send this knight out to this divine feminine. Okay. Got the bottom of the deck about choice again. This is like even uh, similar to like this two of wands here about making a choice to do that. Okay, taking a, taking a chance, taking a cho making a choice to do that. Yeah, yeah. This is overcoming. Um, I feel like there's just been, I feel like even with this divine masculine here, this is the park here. This is also an, a, a 20 and this is also a two. Um, 22 plus zero is a two by decisions here. This has caused this divine masculine to feel. We got the eight in the spades to feel. That's the eight of swords. Feeling mentally trapped by this because it's coming public. It's coming forth public. It's making a decision to move forward and bring. It's like bringing this, making this um, known to this divine feminist. What I'm feeling while we got the park. 
there's also I feel like this divine masculine has just been really also just really um has been like also a follower I'm, I'm hearing like this divine masculine has been like a follower in terms of their environment they followed other folks around they followed what they thought that they should do or what should be like uh the societal norm or um they just have been just such a follower behind folks and not and I'm feeling like they've regretted some of the things that they have followed folks and done in their life okay um that's what I'm also feeling why we've got the park here let's go ahead and clarify this hanging man angels and spirit can please clarify the hanging man Yeah, look at that. That's all about. This is another two. This divine masculine actually has made made decisions. Like this divine masculine is, getting, getting, is either has already made a decision or has really gotten to a place of actually doing that. Okay, um, because here we got another two here with the clover leaf and all about luck and fortune. Um, I'm also seeing the six and the diamond on there. That's the six of pentacles. That's having that reciprocity equal give and take. Because I feel like this divine masculine even was involved in things that they weren't getting at. There were imbalances. And when you are when you are discontent with those three cups and you're just focused on those three cups that you're discontent with, um, there is an imbalance. Okay, because they're karmic also. There's an imbalance. There's not going to be that equal give and take and reciprocity. But this is is this is clearly wanting and seeing looking at this whole situation looking at this ten of pentacles and being able to have this with this divine feminine and being able to have this luck and fortune in their life okay this divine masculine at the bottom of the deck we've got the bridge so this is about bridging the gap bridging the divide reconciliation but I feel like this, this is even the bridge is even res, representative of like, they're just this things are clicking. Like, I feel like there were just there have been some things where this divine masculine thinking, questioning whether they can get to stability. Can they have stability in their life? Do they want it? Do they really, truly want it? Or do they want to continue just to just roam around or do whatever that they were doing or just going, you know, following folks and not and not taking their own lead in their life? getting themselves to a place of stability and being able to build with someone. And I feel like that, that this hanging man has really helped this divine masculine to be able to get into that place to see some things from a different perspective and even bridging the gap, the divide of conflict and things that they've had in their own, like their mind and, 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 and being on the other side of the deck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is specifically about this divine feminine. This divine feminine is showing up as this very passionate depiction depiction of the lady in this deck. In this deck, there's um, so if y'all you know first time watching this reading in this deck, there's passionate and normal depictions of both the lady and the gentleman cards. Um, this is the passionate depiction of the lady card. And so when the lady card comes up in a general reading, it's divine feminine. If the gentleman card was to come up, it would be the divine masculine. This is the divine feminine here. That's very, very passionate depiction of the divine feminine, very feminine. Um, there's even an empress type of quality also with this depiction. You can see also on the divine, on this card right here with the divine feminine, we've got the A and the spades. That's the ace of swords. So again, I feel like this divine masculine knows that that's what they've got to bring to this divine feminine. This divine feminine is not going to take anything less than that. Um, but they've also... It's even knowing that they can have this, be able to have this fortune in their life, this, what they're wanting. And now they're realizing that they, they want in their life, um, being able to have that stability, being able to build with someone and have that and grow, um, and being able to, so this is also in terms of with the bridge, I talked about, you know, them bridging confusion. Cause they've had a lot of, I feel like this divine medicine had a lot of confusion trying to figure out which way to go. Um, but then also being able to reconcile, specifically reconcile with this divine feminine, okay? Bridge the gap, bridge the divine with this divine feminine. Because the Ace of Swords is here because there was a Ten of Swords, okay? There were difficult endings also. Angels and Spirit, could please clarify the Ten of Pentacles? 
Yeah. It's time here, this mask, this ego that's been, that was worn with this divine feminine, just a lot of ego. Okay. Um, and it's like removing that. I feel. That's also why that park was there. Cause I feel like that park also fed into that ego societal appearances. I feel like they have even their social groups and circles that influence them a lot. Um, and they all just fed into this mask. It's time they know, um, this divine masculine knowing that it's, it's time to take off this mask with this divine feminine. Okay. The ace of swords will remove this mask. That's another thing. And we've got the divine feminine. Here's the normal depiction of the divine feminine at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Again, we've got the A and the spades on this divine feminine on this lady card, on the, which is representing the divine feminine. That's the ace of swords. And then the other side of the deck, yeah, got the time. It's time. It is time to take off the mask. Angels and spirit, could please clarify the two of wands. Yeah, it's time. To, this is this is the ace. This is what the ace of swords is bringing. This is what this knight of swords is bringing. That this king is sending this knight out to do this is to is to bring forth this letter. This letter is 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 talk would be this letter was talking about this this seven of spades. That's the seven of swords. Why all of that? That seven of swords led to the eight of swords, led to the nine of swords, led to the ten of swords. That difficult ending. Um, eight of swords, feeling mentally conflicted. Nine of swords, worry, anxiety. Ten of swords, the ultimate. That's the ending. Okay. Um, it led to all of that. Um, and talking about this. So bringing that truth, that clarity, that honesty, bringing that communication. Making a decision to do that. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we've got another messenger card. Um... And this is the rider here. And the rider brings in news, messages, communication. Okay. The rider is also a number one in the deck. That's the absolute um, beginning. That's a new start. It's being able to manifest with ones. You're manifesting. Okay. Manifesting new starts. It's even like I'm, I'm seeing the magician also. Um, and then we've got also on this card, the nine and a heart. That's the nine of cups. That is wish fulfillment. Okay. For both this divine masculine and divine feminine. On the other side of the deck, we've got, yeah, we've got the park again. Yeah, this, this divine masculines really have been shaped and had to overcome some stuff related to their, they really are really ingrained into social perception groups, their social circles, whatever that was. Um, that's, that fed into, we got the eight and the spades there. A lot of men feeling mentally entrapped. Um, and that also by... The seven of swords is when you're sneaking away and you're using conflict to do that. And that's what this divine masculine did with this divine feminine. And um, a lot of it was due to this about following um, social perceptions, you know, concerned about that in their environment, how things are perceived um, and all of that. Um, and it fed into all of this conflict as well. And also avoiding that like that seven of swords avoiding um and using conflict to avoid here we got the sun having some enlightenment around that um avoiding the connection and putting in effort making an effort with the connection with the divine feminine angels and spirit could please clarify the four of cups again the rider again yeah this is all about, because this is a knight, like I said, a, a king of swords that's sending out a knight of swords. Knight, knight of swords bring truth. They bring truth. They bring that sword, that ace of swords. They bring that truth, that clarity, and that honesty, and they bring, they bring that communication. So here we got the rider again, okay? Like I talked, I already talked about, you know, the rider with messages. This is the number one manifestation. This is wish fulfillment for both, not just this divine feminine, but this divine masculine as well. Okay. Both wish fulfillment, the nine of cups. And this is clarifying this four of cups where this figure is now fully wanting this cup. It's like, I want this cup. I'm going to take it. I want it. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the choice again, making that decision. Okay. On the other side of the deck. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. 
This is sitting also right next to this Ten of Pentacles. But this ring is about making that commitment. Putting in the work, making the commitment. But it's also the ring is an A in the clubs right there on there. That's the Ace of Wands. Having a passion, a new start. Making a decision to do that. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and pull a Roman Angel Oracle card. Angels and Spirit, what guidance and insight do you have for the Twin Flame Collective for today, for March 26 of 2019? Yeah, getting to know each other. Um, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah. This is about, there's a lot of, this is a, this is a really highly um, a, 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 a reading around communication here with this, between this divine masculine, divine feminine talking. This divine masculine taking a leap of faith to do that, to send out this night to this divine, uh, divine feminine. And, and both really truly getting to know each other, having those heart to heart conversations. Okay. The bottom deck we've got reconciliation. Yes, someone from your past is returning to your life. This is this is what this divine masculine is making a decision to do, um, to send this night to reconcile. And we had also the bridge pop up here in terms of with the hanging man. This did help this divine masculine to get it into hanging man mode, to look at things from a different perspective and being able to reach out to the divine feminine and, and we have this reconciliation. On the other side of the deck, we've got, yeah, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like also what's happened is, is that um, there is that attraction, of course, between the divine mass and divine feminine. There's that chemistry and that energetic attraction as well. But I feel like also this divine, there's a divine feminine that's I feel is the queen of swords here. This divine masculine is matching it by being the king of swords and sending out this knight of swords to this queen of swords. Um, there's even a feeling that we've got a divine feminine that's also like in queen of wands, um, as well in terms of just doing a lot of movement and really embracing life and moving forward. And this, this is very, also very attractive, um, in terms of not this divine feminine really raising his or her vibration as well. Um, and this divine masculine seeing that it's, it's like this divine feminine feels like set, set a standard with this divine masculine. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. All right, y'all. That is the reading. I am sending y'all lots of love and light. I am wishing you all a beautiful day and rest of the week. And I will be posting the self-love corner. Please take care. Bye.